This weekend, the summer of Smash will sadly be coming to a close with the last stacked ultimate event we will see for quite a bit, Shine 2019. This means that the stakes are high this weekend. It's sure to be an intense tourney, so let's look at the players who have the best shot taking home the gold this weekend in New England. But in the downtime after Shine, ProGuys.com will make you get your Smash fix. We have a tier list and on-demand coaching through Instapro to get you guys prepared to compete at the next major. As always, we've got to start with MK Leo. After placing first at CEO 2019, Evo 2019, and Super Smash Con 2019, he solidified himself as the best ultimate player in the world. And his dominance is always exciting to watch, especially when he pulls off some of the most ridiculous upsets imaginable. Despite his seemingly unstoppable run, there may be some cracks in his Joker game. Nairo, Tweak, and Samsora were all able to push him to game five sets. Sam even pulled off a set win against him. So Shine will either be where all these players finally make the last push and grab that third game Game, or where Leo just adapts as always and cleans up in those four to three game sets. So if those projected brackets goes as expected, we'll get to see the long awaited rematch between MK Leo and ESAM. Despite the two being the biggest names since their days dominating Smash 4, they have only met three times across both Smash titles. While ESAM won at GOML, MK Layer is a Joker main now, so anything could happen which makes this our pick for the set to watch out for this weekend. If MK Layer was able to quickly speed past the rat road bump, he's projected to face Mars, then Tweak or Samsora on his road to winner's finals. All three appeared to have figured him out with Mars beating him twice at Smash Factor. Samsora beat him once at SmashCon, and Tweak was a stock away from beating MK Leo at Evo. But all three lost to him at their last meetings at SmashCon. To put it bluntly, it'll be a miracle to see anyone besides MK Leo win Shine. All right, let's switch gears and talk about Tweak. Known for his Pokemon trainer play, Tweak has mixed results in Ultimate, but a win at Low Tier City 7 and his second place finish at Evo 2019 have shown his true potential. He's currently the second best Ultimate player in the world. Although with another weekend of underperforming his seed, he very realistically may be knocked down a peg or two at Shine. So what's he got to do to avoid it? Well, early on in the tournament, he's got Kiwi's Pac-Man, Goblin's Roy, and Pepe's Pokemon Trainer in the Ditto, which is quite an unconventional string of matchups. But Tweak's been really consistent lately, so I don't see him losing to any of these players. The same can't be said for his set against DeBuzz, who pushed him to the limit the last time they met at Low Tier City 7. It was a grueling 10-game Grand Finals where DeBuzz couldn't close out the last game. So with a win last time, Tweak is the favorite here, probably even more so after DeBuzz's incredibly disappointing 49th at Super Smash Con, losing to Rafi X and Riddles without picking up any notable wins. But hopefully we'll see Tweak win that one so we can get the projected rematch between him and Samsora, who Tweak lost to 0-3 at Smash Con. The phrase a close 3-0 gets thrown out a lot as a joke, but this set really was pretty close despite the game count, as every game went to the last stock besides Game 3. That's when Tweak's Young Link counterpick was highly ineffective, so maybe we'll be seeing Tweak prepare a deeper cut from his character pool for Sam this time. Or maybe instead, he'll have some new ideas to try out against Peach. Either way, this is another set that you guys are going to want to see live. And then in Winner's Final, he'd be expected to face MK Leo. This somehow feels less winnable than the previous match, despite that it went to Game 5 last time they met. This probably has to do with the fact that Leo reverse 3-0'd him yet again, meaning that even if he starts the set by winning the first two games, there's going to be that seed of doubt in the back of his head that Leo is just going to keep getting away with stealing sets with Joker. All right, now let's talk about Samsora. Samsora has been on quite an incredible run lately. After coming in fourth at EVO 2019, Samsora has become known as the best Peach player in the world. I mean, it's no small feat to only lose to the two best players in the world over the last three major events. It seems like Samsora may be the one to finally take down the most elite Super Smash Ultimate players, including MK Leo. And his predicted path at Shine gives him all the pieces to do that. Piece number one is Best Ness. A player that gave him trouble recently by pushing him to game five. With some prep work, Samsora should be able to beat him easily now. The next player he needs to prove himself against is the recently sponsored MVD, who beat the Peach main back in February in a game five set. Samsora has leveled up extremely in the six months since that set, so if he's actually got the skill to have his name spoken in the same conversation for top three, he's going to have to take this one more cleanly as well. Then in the winner's quarters, he's got a set against Light, who he is 
traded sets with over Ultimate's history. The most recent entry in their story was Samsora 2 owing the Fox at Evo. So things are for sure in Peach's favor. This would then bring us to Tweak. And if he was to win two in a row against Tweak, would show not only that the win at SmashCon wasn't a fluke, but also make a statement that he might have a new bracket demon to worry about. So out of all the players you could be rooting for to win the tournament, I think Samsora is the perfect balance between likelihood to actually win the event and the upset factor to be your man to root for this weekend. All right, and lastly, let's talk about Mars. He went from third seed at Evo to second seed at SmashCon above Tweak, then down to fourth at this event just below Samsora. While Mars has continuously beaten down opponents with Zero Suit Samus, he has underperformed at both Evo and SmashCon. So what does his path look like if he wants to at least remain fourth in the world? First, Mars was able to handle Elegant and his Luigi, who appears to be struggling with the transition over to Ultimate. Mars won both times they met recently at low tier City and Evo. Fortunately for his progress in bracket, but unlucky for diversifying his resume of wins, Nairo is next in his path. Mars beat him twice recently at Evo and SmashCon, with Nairo bringing it to Game 5 in their most recent interaction. Making it this far in winners would mean that Mars only needs to win one more set on winners or losers side to guarantee holding seed with a fourth place finish. A winners side win against MK Leo seems doubtful after the dominant sweep his Joker had at SmashCon, with two stocks in both games 2 and 3, so it will most likely be Light or DeBuzz being the final test to see if Mars can stop his slide down the ultimate hierarchy. And that wraps up the top contenders for winning Shine. If we had to make a prediction ourselves, we'd be ludicrous not to pick MK Leo. Every time you think he's finally lost or that you can count him out, he somehow still wins. It's honestly incredible to see. But hopefully someone is able to knock him down a few pegs soon, but we'll have to wait and see. If you guys are interested in getting better at Smash, then click the description link below, where we have a ton of great resources to help you guys get your gameplay to the next level. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and good luck in your next few games.